Wondering which is better, a lab-grown diamond or a white circuit stone? You're in the right place. Lab-grown diamonds have the same properties as natural diamonds, whereas white zircon does not. Lab-grown diamonds are always man-made diamonds, but white zircon can be natural gems or as synthetically created stones. White zircon is used as a diamond substitute, whereas lab-grown diamonds are diamonds. White zircon has a glassy luster, whereas a lab-grown diamond has white light and rainbow sparkle. Despite being colorless gems, they're produced completely differently. Let's see how each of these stones are made. At first thought, many people believe that lab-grown diamonds are just another colorless diamond imitation. That couldn't be further than the truth. They are man-made diamonds, not fake diamonds. They are real diamonds. Instead of growing in the earth over millions of years like mine diamonds, lab-created diamonds grow in as little as three weeks. Larger diamond crystal structures can take up to two months or so. There's two main processes used to create a lab-grown diamonds. Neither way produces a better diamond than the other. Both are capable of producing diamonds of high clarity and color grades. The CVD process involves filling a chamber with carbon-rich gases in high heat. The gas turns into a plasma, leaving nothing but pure carbon left, which then crystallizes. Like a lab-created diamond, a white zircon stone comes with its own assumptions. This colorless stone is often confused with cubic zirconia. A cubic zirconia stone is a lab-created stone, but does not occur naturally. It also considered a fake diamond. Make no mistake, White zircon is used as a diamond substitute, but it's a natural gemstone in its own right. Zircon gems are some of the oldest recorded gemstones used in jewelry. It was more often used as a diamond alternative years back, until more durable alternatives like white topaz or white sapphire. Lab-grown diamonds and white zircon have more in common regarding light performance than lab diamonds vs cubic zirconia stones. Diamonds and cubic zirconia have very different refractive indexes, whereas white zircon and lab diamonds have a similar sparkle. Lab-grown diamonds share the same sparkle and light performance as mine diamonds. They are subjected to the same quality factors such as color grades and clarity. Though people compare lab diamonds to other simulated diamonds like cubic zirconia and white topaz, it is the only one that has the same sparkle as a natural diamond engagement ring. Cubic zirconia has a much lower refractive index than diamond. A CZ exhibits flashes of mostly rainbow light. A lab diamond and natural diamond give off a balance of white light and rainbow light. White zircon is one of the many clear gemstones used as a diamond substitute or imitation. However, the brilliance of a well-cut white zircon can compete with that of a natural or lab diamond. The light passes through a high-quality zircon similar to a diamond. In a cubic zirconia ring, the light passes through differently. When you compare the cost of white zircon vs lab-grown diamonds, it's not a huge surprise to find a white zircon is less expensive. We know that natural diamonds are already expensive. If lab diamonds have all the same properties as natural diamonds, you can probably guess they'll be similarly priced. Fortunately, lab-created diamonds can be priced from 20% to over 50% less expensive than a natural diamond of the same carat weight, clarity, color, and cut quality, just for being grown in a lab instead of the ground. A lab-grown diamond can allow someone to purchase a larger diamond for less than they could with a mined diamond. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.